What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're playing... A Zendikar Rising Draft. Oh my god, I almost... I kind of like blacked out there. I was like, oh, oh. It took like 11 minutes for it to fire, so... Uh, here we are. Royal Eruption looks like the best card in this pack. I do like Skyclave Cleric. I Arch Archpriest is fine. But it's not super easy to get a full party, and it kind of encourages you to play like more colors than this format supports, in my opinion. So I'm going to take the Royal Eruption, because it lets us be... Bull red is actually pretty versatile in this format. You can be red-green, you can be red-white, you can be red-black, or you can even be red-blue. And because we took that, I'm going to take this Akum Warrior. Could take Ruin Crab and just try to draft mono Ruin Crabs. But I'm just going to stick with red for now. This pack is not super exciting. And the... Uh, oh, see? Akiri Fearless Voyager seems good. So does Black Bloom Rogue, even though we just drafted a red deck. Hmm. It's either Akiri or Black Bloom Rogue. What do you guys think here? What sounds better? See, the thing about the, 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 the rogue is that, like, it's unlikely that they're going to have eight cards unless it's really late in the game. Whereas this could be an engine. Let's take the Akiri and see where that leads us. I'm really hoping that we get a Sky Mall. That would be sick. I was like, is it this pack? It was not. Unfortunately, this pack is not exciting. We have a 3-1. Soaring Thought Thief is pretty sweet. Blood Beckoning is good. Both Royal Mage and Cunning Geyser Mage are good. Hmm. I mean, Hellhound might be fine. We're definitely red. I know that. Yeah, I'm going to take Hellhound. It's still a 2-3 on turn 1. It's a terrible blocker, but we're not really trying to block anyway, so... Cleansing Wildfire, Colossus, Bear Supplies. Let's take Tazim Raptor. I mean, that's goes well with what we're trying to do here, so. Take Akira. Yeah, we were, I read that. Sometimes I'll read things in chat and I'll be like, oh wait, things haven't moved nearly as quickly as I thought, so I have to go back and realize that I've already read them. Pair Tactician, 3-2, whenever it, in one, at least one other warrior attack, put a wounded counter on it. That's actually pretty decent. Probably better than Cliffhaven's Cell Sword. Yeah, I'll just take the warrior. I am looking for any kind of shitty equipment I can find. Let's take another Hellhound. Maybe Hellhounds are just the strategy. Unfortunately, they're not warriors, so Paired Tactician doesn't give a shit about them, but... Eh, plus two, plus two. If it's a warrior, you may attach an equipment you control to it. Yum yeah, game. This definitely looks like a deck that might want to take advantage of some combat tricks, so... Skyclave Cleric came back. That's great. Man, the dual face cards are so good, especially if you draw things like uh, well, a Tazim Raptor or any of the, any of the, like the Pyrostatic guy. Um, hmm. So this is a 2-2, which is nice. It does have Vigilance, which is nice. 
our odds of giving it lifelink are low. It might just be Legac here. But this guy does. Eh, I'm going to take this guy because he's better with party effects. There's Pyrostatic Hellion. Sure. Angel Art Protector gives our expedition healer lifelink. So. Spare Supplies is pretty meh, right? I feel like I'm just missing something about it, but... Oh, wow. Oh, no, that's, that guy sucks. <laughs> I got excited, and then I realized he's trash. Uh, I like Kazul's Fury a lot, but I think Nahiri's Binding is just a better card. Also, Scavenge Blade could come back. Yeah, we're just taking Nahiri's Binding here. Oh, Royal Eruption? For sure I'll take a second Royal Eruption. Hmm. Songman Treachery actually seems just fine here. This is a card that can probably just end the game if we steal, like, their flyer or something. Plus it's another card we can play as a land. Oh, Journey to Oblivion? Jeez, we're trying like these are some these are some great cards to be passing. Yeah, I'll just take Journey here. Jeez. Gomafada Vanguard is good. That is a solid 2 2 warrior. Wayward Guide Beast is just a reverse goblin guide if you don't think too hard about it. <laughs> I don't intend to think hard about it at all. <laughs> yeah, so perfect. So he's on board. Thanos agrees. Also, Gomafada into Paired Tactician is nice. Where is all the equipment? I've seen like one, I think. Ravager's Mace. How many Akum Hellhounds is too many? Do we just want to go all in on the Akum Hellhounds? This is actually pretty good, but I don't think there's any reasonable way we can splash it, unfortunately. Fissure Wizard is Fissure Wizard. Is, I never want to say Wizard. Is I want to say Wizard. Um, I think we're just taking this guy. Did we take the Legac last time? We did not. I'll take the Legac this time. Actually, a second Team Raptor seems even better, right? Especially if we're trying to get some equipment. <sighs> Practice tactics seem. Fine. Actually, let's take the Cliffhaven Kite Sail. Not only does this uh, an equipment, but it's also an evasive equipment so that we can keep on. Fissure Wizard is, is literally what I say every time. Oh, the Kazool's Fury came back? Scavenge Blade is fine, but it's no Kazool's Fury. Yeah. I think we have like four of these now. One, two... One, two, three. Just... Oh, yeah, four in Cleric. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. What's our curve look like? No four drops yet? I think we're just taking the four drop. I don't care about the Mesa. That was quick. Okay, but now we're not in the right colors, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take 
chilling trap. Wow. Good grief. I think we should have been black red. Skyclave relic. Wrong Skyclave rare, unfortunately. Um, relic axe. If it's a warrior, it gets plus two. Oh, relic axe has to be the pick, right? I mean, Nahiri's Binding is great, but we have a lot of removal. <laughs> we have Journey, we have already a Nahiri's Binding, we have two Royal Eruptions. Like, I feel like we just want the the pretty decent plus two, plus one. Especially because the number of Warriors we have, and especially because we have a Kiri. Hmm. Don't care about Ambusher that much. Although I would probably replace... And I think it's just Spike Field Hazard. Like, again, it's just a land we, we don't mind picking up, and it's a free spell, so... That's fine. I think the odds of, like, getting another 1-3 is pretty pretty fine. Riverglade! Oh, another Goma Fat of Vanguard seems real good. Synchronized Spellcraft is fine. Vanguard, after just picking up Relic Axe, seems real good, though. Plus, we're, we've got a wizard theme going on here. I oh, know, a warrior theme. I don't know why I said wizard. <laughs> we've got a wizard theme. I'm going to take Smite the Monsters. That card's just fine. Probably not main decking it here, but I will definitely appreciate its sideboard applications. I mean, I think if it comes down to Cliffhaven Sellsword or Stonework Pack Beast, both of which are warriors for two mana, I think we're definitely taking the Pack Beast. <laughs> Surprisingly not that close, I think. So this is 26 cards, but we have one, two, three, four, five. Five dual face cards. So we probably need like two cuts. Angel Heart Protector is kind of meh. How many creatures is this? 15? I mean, it might take both Hellhounds out. I don't know. I think Kite Cell Cleric's kind of meh if we don't have any other Cleric or Party synergies. And the only Party card we really have is Journey to Oblivion, I think. I'm going to take a second. <sighs> It still can just clear out a game. I'll just take it. I think it's got to be better than second pack beast here. Yeah, pressure points fine. Hellhound number three. Is that just what we want to be? This guy's also a warrior, so it does trigger prepared tactician. I don't love it, but I do think the warrior theme is a little bit better. It's also probably better than cleric. Oh, expedition champion seems great here. Skyclave Relic came back. And this guy's a warrior as well. Alright. Let's take Healer out. Uh, Scavenged Blade, huh? I don't think we need it now. I think we have two equipment. I'll just take the... Eh, I'll take it anyway. I don't think we need either of those creatures, so... Oh, look, we got him anyway. Sounds good.
Okay. This deck looks decent. You can get up there. 44 cards. This is 9. I wish they didn't, like, I really wish I could change the size or the speed at which these pop up. I wish I had to hover it for, like, a second because, like, it's really hard to, like, I have to, like, go out of my way to pull it up so it's not, like, just hovering over everything. <laughs> the point is it's really kind of obnoxious sometimes. So, I think 20 lands is probably fine. What do we got here? 17 creatures. We can definitely cut a creature. Like, I just don't think I care about wizard anymore because we don't have a lot of party synergies. And without party synergies, I think Cell Sword is definitely better than Pack Beast. <sighs> zoomed in sideboard I mean this is waste with this is too small for me I don't I definitely don't prefer that all right so this is 9 this is 17 18 19 20 21 22 if we cut three cards we still have 19 lands and we get to keep the two hellhounds that's pretty good so this is 7 8 9 10 11 11 to 8. Hmm. So 14. This is the 19 mana sources. And two raptors to... Uh, two raptors and a hellion to bounce our five... Our five duders. Hmm. Hmm. Fascinating. And our equipment is what? Relic Axe, Cliffhaven Kite Sail. I think that's actually fine. Maybe we want the sword too? Because Resolute Strike is if uh, it's a war, you may attach an equipment to it. It's, an extra, it's a lot of damage. I don't know if the Hellhounds are worth it. We have a lot of mana sources and a lot of ways to bounce things. I mean, being able to go one drop, two drop, three drop, like Akiri or something is pretty good. I mean, alternatively, I think we're taking Stonework Pack Beast for Cliffhaven. I think that the, the three one's just better in the context of like it can fly or it gets plus two, plus one. I mean, I guess the, the Pack Beast, Pack, Pack Beast, Pack Beast does as well, but. The only problem I'm seeing is that if we don't hit one of the mountains on turn one, then Hellhound just isn't as good. Hmm. I mean, I'm definitely tempted to also play Smite the Monstrous. So if we add one more creature, we have 15 guys, two of which are over here. Hmm. I, mean, I think we do want to maximize our warrior synergies, especially with like Relic Axe, Expedition Champion, Paired Tactician, going with Fought of Vanguard. Yeah, we do have this. We do have Cleansing Wildfire. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's a hard deck to build. Like, now I'm almost tempted to take out one more land. So we have 7, 14, 15, 16. Okay, I'd rather go to 18 lands. And then, like, also play the Scavenger Blade. Because, again, like, I think this is a great engine. Or we take out the smite and just board it in because we do have Nahiri's journey, double royal eruption. Huh. 
I think this is actually fine. Let's play it like this and see what happens. I don't know how to build this deck, I'll be honest with you. But uh, I'm hoping this works out. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's about what I expected. Uh, this I'll keep because we have two lands. Well, we do get to play this next turn and then play this into the other thing. That seems fine. Get to attack at the four three. That's pretty cool. The first hand looks sweet. The one with like no lands in it. <laughs> I mean, all hands look sweet when they have no lands in them. Because they're all spells. Roiling Vortex. Say what? That's interesting. Three lands in our first hand? Unless I'm absolutely going crazy. Are they going to die to their own Roiling Vortex? Oh, this is fascinating. Why wouldn't she keep a white up when it has a white ability? I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Oh wow. <laughs> oh boy. Cliffhaven kite sail dot deck over here. Wait a minute, Throne of McKinney and Base Camp? What is even going on with this deck? Roiling Vortex? Did they just draft all the rares? Yep, I'll take one. So, what is this? Uh, target creature opponent controls with power less than or equal to the number of warriors. So, we just play a third warrior. And then this creature can't block. Okay, they did. Well, that was a game. Good gravy. <laughs> I fell into a burning ring of fire. I'm eating combos and I almost picked up my blunt and took a jump out of it. God damn. I can think of things escalate quickly here. This isn't nearly as crunchy as I thought it was. This hand is much worse, but... Look at this guy. Now it's much better. So oh, weird. Utility knife. Okie dokie. No blocks. Zero blocks. 
I'm definitely gonna binding this guy because come on, this guy's too good, right? Each creature in your party, they're both warriors. Sure. Uh, no text, I guess. You should pitch that flavor to combos. Yeah, no one's gonna. Oh, is this the pretzel weed flavor? Delicious. They have two cards in hand. Hmm. No attacks again. You got it. This is going well. Do I bounce a land? Probably. I mean, we ain't got no six drops, and having more lands for landfall triggers that may or may not exist. That's a 2-4, good buddy. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. And I think again we're going to just bounce a land. We're getting farther away from from old royal eruption here, but not, that's okay. So they have six mana they can add. They can make this guy an eight. No, six. God, so many Scorch Riders. Hmm. Really? Uh, block. And block. I will trade one of these for your sixth drop. I will trade one of those for your spell shield thing. take six here or wow okay eight you're at eight virtual five they have no cards in hand yeah let's get this guy off the board because next turn's already taken up we're casting this guy with haste so Just this guy, huh? I will pass. No blocks. Oh boy. You got it. Oh boy. You got it. Pass. That's your turn, huh? You got one blocker, you block here, you take two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this guy dies. Hmm. Alright, they're at one. 
two, three, four, five, six. I don't foresee them being able to deal four extra points with one mana. Yep, that's fine. That's pretty good. What? Oh, was not. Okay, got it. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Oh. Okay. Good times. I'm pretty okay with this configuration of the deck. That seemed to go well. Oh, a favored of Iroas. Wow. I agree. I think there's a lot of play in this format if you get the correct configuration of lands and spells. And I also feel like the um, dual face cards should be helping that. But a lot of times, like, you're just like, oh, I can't do the thing. Yeah, definitely keep this. I mean, if we can draw a two drop, that'd be fantastic. Okay, we did not manage to do that. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I didn't want to draw that at all. That's great. Thanks, my dude. Three colors. Seems good. Wow, they've played three uncommons so far. That's pretty wild. Hmm. I mean, it's definitely worth taking two here, or one here from this guy. You can mill us for one. It's totally fine. Is this a party? No. You have rogue with rogue cleric and that other dude. Interesting. Rogue warrior, rogue warrior, cleric. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just go in with this guy. Oh, they just took it. Okay. <laughs> Don't they know parties are a real bad idea? I agree. a fair trade so we just took both warriors off the board that seems fine okie dokie that's cool 
That's real cool. Now they have a warrior again. And another warrior. Good times. Fascinating. So what does this do? Wow, that's pretty good. Okie dokie. Are we dead? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not yet. Or we are. Yeah, just kidding. I don't... Did I miss something? Guess I'll never get to see. Guess I don't get to know what happened in that game. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, I don't think anything is particularly better against them, so... Yeah, we'll keep this. Yeah, I like I like the the configuration that we have now better than with the hell the hell kites or whatever they are the hell cats hell boys because our odds of like hitting a red source on turn one is pretty low. You got it. Sounds good. Oh boy. Okay, we're having a time. Um That seems good. I don't think we're picking up a land here because we haven't played a land. No, we do need to play a land. But I still don't think, like, this is a six drop and we have another. We have both of these in hand. So I think we're trying to. I mean, if I hit a land next turn, I'd much rather play Hellion next turn and then bounce a land then, so. Yeah, I don't really care about that. I will 100% block Iona. Or I'll take two. Sure. Give me that land. Whew, nice. Oh, and a royal eruption? Huh. Interesting. We could royal eruption and just play second raptor. That's actually not terrible. I do kind of like that. Especially with the amount of pressure we're applying here.
Because then next turn we have Hellion that's going to deal two. Yeah, I don't care about a second warrior. I'll just take four here. Alright, that's pretty good. Is that one card in hand? Yeah, that's an easy block. That guy's only going to get better with their deck, so... So we're going to play this, leave up a white, and then bounce the teeth. Yeah, that seems great. Sure. Okay. I kind of like Resolute Strike here. This is six in the air. I, I guess we just kill them if we do that, don't we? Seems good. <sighs> our deck seems good, but our deck seems really efficient at getting parties, so I think it really comes down to like can we do our aggressive thing before they do their party thing? And boy, do I hope so. Uh, this actually seems good. I almost want to play this, so on three we can play this and get it back. But if we just draw normal lands, I don't want to be handicapped, so I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Uh -huh. Yeah, no blocks. <laughs> yep, mono rares dot deck over here. However, champion into raptor into raptor. I mean, our hand is good. Sure, you get two red. And you are able to use it super effectively. Congratulations. Okay, so we take five next turn. Yeah, it's a yikes for me, dog. Doesn't do anything this turn, though, so... I'm just gonna let you have that. Smite this. And then we'll need here he's binding that thing. Next turn we can go Raptor into Axe. Cool. Super cool. <sighs> okay, I have no cards in hand. Yep. Oh, 
That was actually a solid turn. If we hit a land, we can play both of these. We can put the axe on the bird. <laughs> okay, well, they don't have a full party yet. So I guess there's still some... 4-2, uh, huh? That's a warrior, that's a warrior. This is a wizard. This is actually your only wizard. Do I just want to soak up three here? No, I'll go to four. Oh, that's a deece. Don't care about you, you. You're gonna you're gonna get plus two, so you're gonna be three. This guy can block now though. Yeah, I think we just have to hope they whiff for a few turns. Because if we hit a land, we can go Akiri and Relic Axe. Which is very good. Oh, this is six. Yeah, soak it all up. Seems fine. Nice. We are living the dream right now. So this is a f this would be a five two, which still gets blocked here. Okay, well. <sighs> I think they're trying to see if they can use their Tazari. Nice, they cannot. Ooh, I like that. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Hmm. decline <laughs> I feel like we're in good shape here <laughs> we're only at four so once they draw their yeah I don't care about that they already have a warrior so it's not a huge deal It's actually real good. This is an instant. I don't foresee the benefit of playing it now. <laughs> oh wow seriously kind of hilarious one two three five six seven mana wow that's amazing Oh, 
Oh my god. What? Oh, why does he have... Why does he have double strike? Oh my god, I should have killed this in response. That's fucking unbelievable. I mean, I guess the, if we kill it in response, they actually... Oh my god, we live if they kill it, we kill it in response. Because then they don't have... No, because then they don't have first strike. They just have no strike. So then they still deal regular combat damage. Yeah, so... That was... Wow. I mean, they're just going to pump it twice if we don't... If we kill it first. So it's not really... Like, we literally just had to not attack with the one flyer we have. That's literally all we had to do. It's frustrating. Uh, two lands. I'll keep it. We're on the draw. Okay. Is today over yet, buddy? We got a ways to go. Main phase deliberate. Do I have enough weed for today? Well, I mean, it is Seattle, so... I wish I had one more mana that came into play untapped because then I can play multiple things. Yeah, this is fine. I think playing Goma Fada Vanguard is just better here. If you kill the Blade Master after the first strike damage, it would go on to deal regular damage because it doesn't have double strike or first strike at that point. It just has it's just a regular creature that deals regular damage during the regular damage combat step. So you'd still be taking three. If it only which is ironic, because if it only had first strike, then you actually wouldn't be taking any. No blocks. They're just taking five? Interesting. I mean, I'll be honest, I ain't in the mood to take 10 if this is your big plan. Yeah, what we should have done... No, actually it wouldn't have mattered. We didn't have a kite sail, they only, only they did. I thought we had a kite sail for a second, and I'm like, wait, why didn't we move it onto a different creature? I, mean, I just have to assume they're going to play a kicker card next turn. Activate both their Riptides and attack us for 10. Oh, a little, little, little squid. A little squiddle dee doo. Hmm, got 
two mana up, huh? I am afraid of counterspell here. Um, we have two. We can make it so this guy can't block. We can also make it so this guy can't block. Again, one more untapped land would be great because then we can resolute strike. But we don't have that. So instead, we're going to kill this guy. Assume you're going to give it. I assume we're going to give it plus 0, plus 3, and hexproof, and then you have a 5-5. Five, five. That's my assumption. Oh, wow. Look what you did. Good for you. Good for you. Come at me, bro. Squid me. Squid me, baby, one more time. Bubble snare. Okie dokie. Oh, wow. I'll take eight. unfortunate <laughs> 12 to 12 three cards to three cards two creatures to two creatures five lands to five lands I mean if they don't have anything like we could just attack for a million uh attack just strike creature about three or less <sighs> okay my turn I have one card, huh? Big fat trampy boy. Okay, now I feel like we're in better shape because next turn we have a bunch of good tricks. Okay. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, we can play everything in our hand here, which is kind of interesting. Two, two lands were milled? God, what a saint. I do not think Zulaport Duelist is that good. Could we have killed them? They could have taken six and then we could have killed them. Yeah, that would have been... That would have been... Yeah, that would have been lethal. I feel bad now about my life choices. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we just put plus this guy, make it a 6-5. They would have taken two more from the damage, and then we could have threw it at them. But now they're, they're still dead, so it's fine. That was... Man, you guys are laughing at me.
Oh, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. Seems good. Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, yeah, this hand's great. Two drop, three drop, three drop. Combat trick. I'm game. We're gonna two one here. That's pretty good. Eh, never mind. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Hey, look, it's the kicker deck. We just didn't see that in game one. Okay, that's helpful. Cows. Are they considering? Because if they even if they have the plus O plus three and hexproof kick spell, I don't think you can use it on a an opponent's creature. So. but they're not doing anything, <laughs> so that's good. What can they have here? Probably not a tremendous amount I care about. Okay. They didn't enter the royal, so that's fine. Okay. Man, if they didn't really bounce this guy, make a 2 2, block, have a 2 2, draw a card. Oh, Packy Boy. I have no idea what the five cards in their hand are. Uh, do you ever funsies 1v1 viewers? Not often, because I just don't have that many decks that I like have at the ready. Eh, this is fine. Do you trade or eat? You just eat? Now I eat. Now it is I who eat. Scorched Rider, give me a land for the Rider. Okay. I am going to play this because I don't want to have them bounce like Stonework Pack these, but I guess they'd bounce this guy, right? Do you think they have another one? I don't think I'm in a. I don't think I'm in a position where I can give a shit. Yeah. Okay. They do. That card's not that great, let alone good enough for two in the deck. Oh boy. So that's good. Milling two lands is probably. Oof. This is a good. This is a good. It's a good setup there. You got. Three, three. 
solid two for one there with two in my opinion subpar cards see that's a good card oh that's good too though I think I don't care about this. I think I just want to play this guy, get it out, and if we draw another warrior that we can play, uh, then we can play this and the warrior, and we'd have three to be able to, like, neutralize both of these guys. <laughs> Alright. They took five to do that? Wow, that's pretty wild. I'm gonna have to have into the royal in hand, right? Okay, not ideal. Oh, that was interesting. So they have to block here, otherwise they're dead. Okay. Wow, that seems great for us. Holy bajolies. I think we just won thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons be sure to follow or even go to twitch and subscribe if you guys want to support the channel uh you can also <laughs> wow well we're not we're not dead yet but nonetheless you can also check out manatraders.com they have a great subscription service for magic online but they're not out of the woods yet we still have enough power to kill you Oh, we do not anymore, but they had to play that. <laughs> oh, it's like the Pro Tour. It's like my Pro Tour gut shot all over again. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh my god, that was wonderful. <laughs> Spike Field Hazard for the win. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time.